You guys have probably figured out by now that I'm a big fan of A7 and their bar grip t-shirts. In fact, I think I wear one in almost every single training video. There's also a banner of theirs hanging up behind me right now as I record this. But I really like them because they've been able to take something that everyone already does, which is gym apparel and fitness apparel in general, and actually add some functionality behind it. So the general premise behind their shirts is there's a grip on the back of them, which is gonna help on things like squats. So for example, if you've ever found the bar sliding down your back because of bad knurling, or maybe you're just sweating profusely, which is gross, and you don't have someone around to chalk it, or you don't have a good barbell like you would in a powerlifting competition, the bar grip is gonna help make sure the bar stays there, as the name intends. But also has some benefits on things like benching. So if you're used to slippery commercial benches like I used to be, and I had to put down bands on the bench to help keep me more secure, or you maybe just don't have a great arch, the bar grip shirt will help there as well. Or at least in theory it will. And I say that because oftentimes when we're sent stuff for free, which is a lot of case with most YouTubers and anything they show you, they want to give the best review possible because they either want more free stuff or they want you to buy it and then that way they can make money off of you. So I wanted to really put this into practice. So in theory, it sounds good, but in practice? I mean, it, listen, we are talking about practice. Not a game, not a game, not a game. We are talking about practice. Does it actually work? So I thought of the most scientific thing I could think of, and trust me, I'm not very scientific to begin with. I am definitely more MacGruber than I am MacGyver. But what I did is I got a normal t-shirt, I got a bar grip t-shirt, I then got a grommet tool off of Amazon that would allow me to put a small metal ring into each shirt. And I did this because I also picked up a luggage scale with a hook that I could then put through the ring and then drag the shirt across a bench and measure the resistance needed in order to do so. So I did also put a weight plate on top of this, 10 kilograms, which is gonna be roughly around 25 pounds. And I wanted to see if the bar grip actually made a difference. So I put both of these through the test, and what I found was the bar grip shirt actually required twice as much force in order to drag that shirt across. So in the instance here, using the bench creating leg drive, where most people are going to try to push themselves into the bench and back, the bar grip obviously is going to help you stay more secure than a regular t-shirt would. So I wanted to perform one more test because not everyone is forever alone like myself, and they might have their friends able to chalk their back for them. So I chalked the back of the t-shirt, performed the test one more time, and although it did slightly increase increase the resistance from a regular shirt, it was still about less than half of what the bar grip can provide. So I'm very happy to see this because A7 has been someone that I've been wearing, obviously predominantly through my training, and I'm glad to see that it's not just a placebo effect or the fact that they send me shirts every now and then, and the shirts actually do what they're intended for. So if you're interested in getting one of these shirts, I can't recommend them enough, especially the newer version that just came out most recently. They also were one of the sponsors for USAPL Raw Nationals. I believe they're sponsoring the Arnold upcoming competition as well, which is gonna be cool to see them. I actually have a discount code for them, although it's not linked to me directly in terms of monetary compensation. So if you want to use that, I believe the code is Campbell, and I wanna say it saves you 10%. And I wanna say, I wanna say, because I'm not used to giving you kinds of discount codes. So if you're interested in the shirt, it does work based off the testing that I've done. Again, very MacGruber-ish, but it does show that it works. Let me know if you have one, if you like one, if you have any other questions, and I'll be happy to answer them in the comment section below. In the meantime, as always, thanks for watching and stay big.